Jojo Siwa has done it again. She's currently lying to her audience saying that she's going to be part of a singing competition, but there's more to this that I would like to talk about. So apparently Jojo Bobo has some attachments to the country of Poland, and she's claiming that she's learning Polish and she's singing songs in her new language, like this horrific video. I learned something today, wait for it. She sounds like she's speaking Simlish. And listen, something that I really love about this is just the look of shock at the end. The veneers are about to pop out of her mouth and her tongue needs to be scraped. But this is sort of the first time that we've heard Jojo Siwa in her Polish era, I guess. This actually very much reminds me of Trisha Paytas and when she was in her Egyptian era or when she was in her Jewish era, Christian era, Elvis era minimum wage worker era. I mean, I feel like Jojo Siwa may be taking some pages from the book that Trisha Paytas wrote about Jason Nash. <laughs> Do you know that she wrote a book about her relationship with Jason Nash? You can see it on her Goodreads page. 101 poems about my ex-boyfriend. There's a decent amount of ratings. Some of my favorite quotes include, you don't want to mess with me or the alpha will make an example out of you, wet ass pussy. I think I may not be reading that correctly. And then for some reason in a long form TikTok video, Jojo claims that she's currently in talk with Eurovision, like one of the most popular fucking singing competitions of all time. She's saying that she's in talks to represent Poland, which I think is absolutely fascinating because no, you're not. And we can actually prove it at the end of this video. They came out with a statement being like, what the fuck are you talking about, Jojo Bobo? Shove your boomerang up your ass. Nobody wants you. <laughs> Sorry, that's very mean. Eurovision said that. That's a direct quote. Another branch of the song is because somebody asked if I was going to do it on Eurovision because it was going viral in Poland. And then someone was like, are you going to do this on Eurovision? And I initially jokingly replied to the comment saying yes. But now it's actually become a real conversation and Eurovision's into it. Um, we're talking. Girl, did you... Just hear that? Change your fucking battery in your smoke detector. Into it, um, we're talking. You are in the middle of braiding your hair currently, being like, yeah, I'm about to go to Europe and represent an entire country that I haven't really been to before this competition, but that's all right. I can just go to Poland, occupy Poland. I basically, when Jojo Siwa goes to Poland, she's going to be part of the occupation of Poland, if you will. But she's also claiming that she's going super viral in Poland, which is... Honestly, something that James Charles would come up with where he's like, yeah, listen, my song isn't doing very well in the United States, but you know, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, this shit's popping the fuck off. It's like nobody believes you. And also I have three different charts of Poland's top songs. Honey, you're not there. And then after the virality of her Polish karma video, she posted another video saying that she's working on her pronunciation. And in the description, it says, see you soon. Poland. Now, if I was Poland, I would be prepping for nuclear war. It sounds like if you put this in reverse, she would be, I don't know, doing some sort of Manson-esque <laughs> messaging. <laughs> this very well could just be a reverse message to her XOMG pop members who had left recently. Like, it's the address of the most recent XOMG pop Leva. One more time, though, because with the way that she moves her mouth, it legitimately looks like she's juggling marbles inside of her jaw. <laughs> fucking good and everybody in the comments is like i don't understand this and i'm polish and speak it i'm not polish but this doesn't sound correct why is she suddenly polish that's not polish that's nail polish let's see if google translate can sort of understand this a little bit let's pump this up <laughs> Should be nice to believe better. If I add wishes, I don't hesitate as I don't. Were you going for this, Jojo? And then we have a cute little vlog. Travel to Poland with me. I'll mute it just a little bit. Travel to Poland with me. Time to check in. Polish Airlines, Polish Airlines, Polish Airlines stressed. Oh boy, can I actually board? I'm Jojo Siwa. Tell me I'm Polish. Please tell me I'm Polish again. Here's some snacks. I bought all these snacks. This was $50. I'm a millionaire. Got my mom with me. Pretty cool. And then it ends with, dear Poland. Uh-oh. 
I love you. No, I love you. Us from me from Poland. Love you. Shout out everybody from Poland. Me, I love you. When is she going to release like a Polish version of this song? Because I feel like people from Poland are much smarter than Americans. They probably already know a little bit of English or they're just fully fluent. So it seems like they may just enjoy your song as it is. And it might almost seem like disrespectful when you go shmim yam shmim yam to the fucking camera because I don't know Polish, but I know that according to Google Translate, what you're saying is bullshit. <laughs> oh, had to do it dance one more time. Okay. Yesterday. Oh. Tomorrow. Okay. By the way, this song's fucking called Yesterday's Tomorrow's Today. Can somebody break that down for me? It seems as though we are throwing up vomiting words, if you will. Yesterday is tomorrow's today. Who wrote this? Jojo, this is something that you would come up with if you did mushrooms for the first time and then finally figured out empathy. Yesterday is actually tomorrow's yesterday. Tomorrow's today. What is this dance? Is this a traditional Polish dance that I don't fully understand? Jojo's going to be very, very upset when you see the national dance of Poland. I mean, I don't want to disrespect an entire country, but Abby Lee Miller would not be okay with that. You'd be on the bottom of the country pyramid. We have another update video. Having the best time in, wait, where do you think she is? Possibly Poland? No, it's yesterday's. Oh, I hope she does the dance. Tomorrow's today. Well, she's got some hang time. I can do that shit. See those scars on my knees? Nine surgeries later, I can still do it. My traditional Polish dance. Donate to Never Stop, my official nonprofit. All donations are tax deductible, and we now have an employee, so I really need it. <laughs> All of this happened a week ago, but she posted more than she's ever posted in her life talking about this Polish shit. And she's constantly talking about all the charts that she's topping and how phenomenal she is. Ooh, we had a meeting in Poland. I met with the fucking, I don't know, Queen of England in Poland. Tell us about your success, Jojo. Uh, oh, this is Guilty Pleasure. This looks good. Guilty Pleasure. <laughs> Polish flags, fully ripped shorts. I bet you the people downstairs really love her. And is this a Bud Light tall boy? Are we absolutely plastered in Poland? That's a Japanese flag I see right there. Also, what are we doing with our shins? Why do we have a hair tie with, I don't know, a hundred dollar bill tied to us? And I also didn't realize that we were working with what looks like a terrible patriotic tattoo. Like the fact that Jojo Siwa and one of your uncles, like you watching right now, you have an uncle who has that same tattoo tattoo. That's horrendous. Ah, uh, that's embarrassing. Look, she missed her mouth with the straw. You fucking fool. Poland gets your mind. And what's even crazier, she's still posting that she's prepping for Eurovision, which I think must be against some sort of copyright law because it's not like I can say, you know, I've been training for Dancing with the Stars for the last two, three years. Bruno Tagnoli is going to be my bestie. When in reality, I'm just like doing a fucking Polish traditional dance in the middle of my shitty office. Yesterday. Yesterday's tomorrow's today. Ooh, girl, I want that cardboard cut out right now and also the drum kit. You know you're not drumming. What am I missing? Because this article just came out from the BBC six days ago that says, we haven't spoken to Jojo Siwa, says Polish Eurovision bosses. She said that she had real discussions about performing at the contest next year. And then everybody's like, yeah, no. If you're humping the floor like this, Poland's not going to have you represent your country. It's not like Miley Cyrus and all love to Miley Cyrus. I know that she's a huge fan of this channel. It's not like Miley Cyrus during her bangers era where she was literally shoving blunts inside of her was representing the entire country of the United States of America. Up until yesterday, she was still in Poland. Look at all of this Polish content. I haven't seen this flag this much ever. People are like, please leave my country alone. She had to bring karma to Poland. Great. Listen, you had to bring karma to Poland. Should she not get canceled for this? I feel like Poland's already gone through fucking enough. Look through your history books. I know that you've done an Ancestry.com thing, but uh, there was a fella from Austria who really fucked up that country. And lastly, I'm just going to show proof that Jojo Siwa is nowhere on Poland's radar. We have Taki Mali Ya, which of course we know is one of our favorite songs from Poland. Billie Eilish, uh, Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, what about the top 200 from Poland? We're going to search Jojo. Not even Jojo Siwa or Jojo. 
the American singer, songwriter, and actress, showed up on this fucking top 200. And if the real JoJo doesn't pop up, then JoJo Siwa's nowhere near. Okay, but what if it's all down to what platform you're on? Okay, we'll check the YouTube charts. Command F, no JoJo, no JoJo there. And I guess I just wanted to use this and say, like my nonprofit who benefits people who are currently sick and going through something is the number one nonprofit in the United States ever. We actually have gotten more support than, you know, Bill Gates has given people besides his wife. Well, I guess that grant opportunity has gone out the fucking window. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.